So it's a dangerous combination of heat and humidity. We're talking about real feel values up to 108 degrees. So absolutely uncomfortable, brutal, but also dangerous if we don't take those heat related precautions like staying very well hydrated, avoiding or limiting caffeine, taking plenty of breaks in the AC, wearing loose, lightweight clothing. It's just a tough one and we didn't get any real relief overnight. Temperatures stayed for the most part in the upper 70s into the low 80s. So please just take it slow out there. If you don't need to be out and about for any extended period of time, you certainly don't want to be. Artscape begins today and WJZ is the proud media sponsor. Alexis Davila is sharing all the fun happening over the next three days. Hi, Alexis. Hey, well, Artscape artists and performers are ready to come in and bring some of that culture and family fun. But because of that heat wave that we are experiencing, we do know that MedStar Health is actually going to bring in some sunscreen towers to help protect yourself and still have hours of fun here. Now, Baltimore's 40th Artscape Festival here will be a block party style event on North Avenue. And that one is called the Artscape Ball, where you are encouraged to dress in your most creative looks. At the artist market, you can also browse through the creative works of more than 100 artists. There will also be five stages, including one in West Baltimore. And the headliners that we can expect this year are Shaka Khan, Sheila E, and the original Whalers featuring Al Anderson. All that fun is going to be actually kicking off tonight, starting at 5 o'clock. So get ready as it continues to progress throughout this weekend. On your corner in Baltimore, I'm Alexis Davila for WJZ. And according to our media partner, the Baltimore Banner, several sources say the former Baltimore City Health Commissioner is under investigation for her ongoing work at a private health care provider while getting paid more than $200,000 from the city's health department. It'll now be under interim leadership through next week before a deputy health commissioner takes over. An investigation is underway after a fire breaks out at a church in Carroll County. Fire crews say the extreme temperatures and heavy flames put up a fierce fight. One firefighter was transported to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. And fire officials say they are still working to figure out what sparked this blaze. The Senate Appropriations Committee passed a bill providing $375 million for the new FBI headquarters in Greenbelt. As we told you, that new building will replace the FBI's crumbling headquarters in D.C. The Archdiocese of Baltimore is holding a gun buyback event. It's happening August 10th at 10 a.m. in the parking lot of Edmondson Westside High School. Gun owners will get $100 to $200 for each weapon. The weapons must work. Baltimore police will be on hand to make sure the guns are disposed of safely and securely. David Rubenstein says he and his ownership group have officially taken full control of the Baltimore Orioles. His group previously bought 40% of the club. That sale was approved right before opening day. The process of the sale moved rather quickly after the death of former owner Peter Angelos back in March.